What's up guys, it's Wilson, also known as Design by Will, and in today's video we're going to be redesigning, not redesigning, more like refreshing a design for a shoe company, um, a streetwear company, not a shoe company, sorry, they're called Rage1994. Now, they already have shoes that are available on their site, most of them are sold out, unfortunately, but the owner tasked me of redesigning this shoe and refreshing it up a little bit more just to fit a little bit more into the brand design and the overall aspect of the flames and anger and all that. So that was the main aspect or brief for this project. Originally, we were going to design the flame, you would call it, the flame, the main element. But we chose to just go with the silhouette and then play with the silhouette mainly because the brand is new and you don't want to slap on fresh new designs after you've started to establish an audience um but yeah that was a task and let's get into it it's my first time designing a shoe and i really didn't know what i was getting into um, until I started designing and realized how hard this project would be because when you're designing clothes You know, you're designing for an, a garment. It's going to be printed onto a garment But when you're designing a shoe you have to think about a lot more stuff like the manufacturer cut um, Like even the flames like you can't make them too sharp or else it won't turn out like that once they go to print So little things like that really influenced the way I was designing this project obviously this shoe is designed around the dunk silhouette. So that was what I was looking for in terms of inspiration, just to more so sketch up or draw up the silhouette itself and then start designing around the silhouette. This was the hardest part. It took a little while, um, but it was all worthwhile in the end because I feel like this shoe turned out really nice and I can't wait for it to get into production if it does get into production. If not, I'll be pretty sad. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Um, and I also want to say thank you for getting me to 2.5K subscribers. I can't wait to hit 5,000 subscribers. And I appreciate all the love and the community that we're building at the moment. So at first, I was using the pen tool mainly with heavy stabilization, 100% um, stabilization. And um, just going in with a size 5 brush and basically just tracing the silhouette. Um, it took forever and then I realized I could have just used the pen tool so I came to this realization once I realized I needed to make these stitching I don't even know why I did the stitching in the back anyway because we didn't end up using it in the actual design but it was just like more sort of getting that proper silhouette and in future if someone else wants me to design a um, shoot based on the silhouette it will be a lot easier to just get those um, templates or projects that I've made and then just go straight in and add it so all this stuff is really important in building foundation so when you're designing you want to build more sort of like a toolbox on my desktop I have designed by world toolbox um, and it has all the assets and everything that I've got gathered over the years it's about 12 gigabytes worth of assets and it's super important for me because it cuts down my work time by like I, don't, I wouldn't even know like 75% because I have everything that I need mostly in that I don't really need to go on social media or go on Google for anything unless it's an image that I want to design off but in terms of assets and like textures and everything I make that all myself or I find one that I've used in the past and just you reuse it inside of a project so stuff like this is very very time consuming and annoying but at the end of the day, I would say it's honestly worth it. Um, and I'm thinking of maybe making a Patreon and then putting up these um, drawn assets because I don't think I can really like sell these because they're not an original silhouette that I've developed. So giving them up for free on like a Patreon or something like that, like a community where we can talk about like designs that you've made would be honestly amazing. So I'm in the works of maybe developing my own website or maybe maybe just go on a patreon something like that so if you guys would leave a comment in the description talking about if you guys would join a patreon with me um and it would include more of my lower and ed, lower end assets that are below ten dollars i'll probably give them all up for free on the patreon um and we could just go over designs and talk about stuff because a lot of people have been dming me 
um, asking for questions and like asking for inquiries, which is really amazing. And it, it warms my heart that I'm able to like mentor people where in a, I was in a position like two years ago where I was asking for help. So it's more so like a full circle moment for me, but it is getting to the point where I can't get to like important messages or DMs. So please, if you guys are asking for a question or help on a design, please try to find it on Google. You most likely will find better information on Google than me. Um, but I know how it feels to talk to someone you feel familiar with and ask them questions. But I would ask you guys to just restrain from that because my DMs are getting full of questions that I, I can't really get to anymore. I can't get to my, my clients. And I'm not saying anyone's more valuable than anyone, but I just want to filter out like project inquiries and then um, just uh, DMs asking questions. So I'm thinking of launching a Patreon or like an uh, environment where people can just ask me questions and I can answer them for you. But yeah, so right now we're just doing the silhouette of the back. Um, as you can see, this was okay. I don't really like the stitching in the midsole. I think we could make that a lot better. But overall, the silhouette looks really nice. Um, and it looks really neat compared to what I would usually do. Uh, it did take a long time because I had to use that stabilization and everyone knows stabilization on Photoshop slows down the process. So I'm just gonna speed past all this. Um, you can see me now using the pen tool rather than, oh, what is it called the pen, the pen tool, sorry, rather than a brush because I realized how quick it would be if I just used a pen tool and it's a lot more efficient and the lines look a hundred times more cleaner. I don't know why I didn't do this at the start and I also don't know why I didn't do this in Illustrator. I think it would have been more beneficial for me if I did this whole silhouette in Illustrator, but it's too late, can't go back now. We've done it in Photoshop um, and I guess, I guess it's because I'm more comfortable drawing in Photoshop. So I'm just doing the side panel right now. Um, it looks really interesting once you see the outline of the side panel. Once again, I feel like the most difficult part is the stitching, but once I got that pen tool, stitching was the most easiest part, honestly. But I really like the silhouette of a dunk. It just looks visually pleasing. And everyone knows that dunks are the most popular shoe or most like worn out shoe in 2022, 2021 but I feel like it's almost a timeless silhouette and you can really do whatever you want with it once you've once you've got the foundation of it. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of brands that have designed a shoe around the Dunk silhouette or the Jordan silhouette. Um, I feel like my most, the most um, interesting one that I saw of the Jordan silhouette was Aurier or Ray Mio on um, IG. I think he did an interesting concept um, whether it was with the packaging or the shoe itself. It really stood out to me and I really wish I got a pair of those before they went up on the black market, you would say, because you can't really do a Jordan silhouette anymore, unfortunately. Nike is cracking down on that. Um, but yeah, this is the side panel silhouette. You can see me just going through, getting into the little details that I would need for the project. I feel like the most difficult part is making sure that you have everything there before you say, yes, I'm done. Because if you go back and edit it, it will kill your brain. So yeah, now I'm just doing a top down view so we can design the toe box or what will go in the toe box region. Um, just to get the full silhouette, I wanted the back side front and top view. I ended up not doing the front because uh, it's not really needed if we're doing a, um, a, a top view of the toe box. Um, and all you really need is to see the ends of the design rather than the, the start of it. Because the start of it's the same. It's the same panel of leather or, or other materials that the company wants to use. So, yeah. So, now that we got the silhouette um, drawn up and we're ready to design, I'm just going to get the current um, flame that they have for their branding. Uh, and I'm just going to place it on the shoe just to get some sizing and then draw it in with a pen so we can have the final full silhouette so we can play with it. Um, so this shoe has already released. I've already made a version of this shoe um, and we're just refreshing that version, obviously, like what I said at the start. So yeah, 
So basically, now that we have our silhouette and we got everything drawn, it's try it's time to redesign the panels and the dunk itself. Obviously, we got the front and back panels on the dunk, and those are going to be my main culprits for this design project. Um, I'm going to keep this little segment the same speed so you guys can see the amount of stress and anger that goes into um, getting a right flame. Like drawing flames seems like an easy project until you have to draw flames. And I didn't know that until I was designing the first round of designs um, that for the actual flame itself, the redesign of the flame. I went through so much iterations of that flame that I feel like I'm sick of looking at flames now. And yeah, it was it was just a process in itself. Like you can see me here going in with the red pen and then drawing and then deleting everything because I can't, like I'm so sick of messing up. Like you see that little swoop starting again. See the little swoop starting again. It was just a process going over and over in my head until I got the right look. So I'm just gonna fast forward to until I got the panel looking at like what I wanted to look like and then trying to recreate that at the front. So you can even see here, I have like a full complete design of the shoe and I just delete it, start again, because it just looked bad. I just didn't like how it looked. So we're just starting over um, and drawing in those flames again, um, just so it can match more so of the main flame that we have on the, the flame itself, the main silhouette of the flame. Um, and yeah, so it was just a big learning process. Would I recommend doing this? No. Um, was it a good learning experience? 100%. So now that you see me do my bloopers about 10 times, we're just going to fast forward until we have the final first revision to send out to the client. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Beautiful. So this is the first design of the shoe itself. As you can see, um, those flames did give me such a headache when I was doing them. But overall, I think it looks really cool and it's a super sick concept and it's going to be the one that I send over to the client. So we're just going to skip over to the next video and look at the revision notes for this project. Overall, he really enjoyed the design itself. Um, we're just going to remove the holes in the toe box instead of making them that flame it's gonna probably cost more and be extra labor um, and we're gonna remove some of the flames on the side panels themselves so we can make that middle section a lot cleaner so the flame the main flame can stand out against any color on the actual other panels overall this is a very easy revision to do the one annoying thing is just going through all the layers that i've created inside the shoes um, and searching which one is which to delete a section and then add it back on and re-edit that um so yeah one of the main points was to make sure the holes a are factory um and yeah those side panels make them factory too just so it's easier um, and a lot cleaner so yeah, that's just what this whole segment is going to be about. Just cleaning it up a little bit more. Um, those were the only revision points. So yeah, just the same process going in with the pen and just um, deleting with the E or eraser brush um, and drawing in those lines, connecting them back up with the original silhouette. Um, I think the most difficult 
redesign of the silhouette for the revision wise was probably the side panels um, just because there was so much layers in the side panels because we had the front side panel back side panel and then just to the actual shoe silhouette itself um, and that took a little bit of time this redes this redesign itself took around an hour or so so yeah overall this project in total took me about five hours to complete over a span of like i would say a week just because communication and then going back and forth with clients and then talking about points or ways you can edit stuff um and then originally we were doing a complete new concept for the shoe this was an original concept this concept took about three days to bring to life um yeah three days uh four out four to five hours so roughly about 45 minutes a day to an hour a day of designing so yeah that's that's basically how this comes to life and also you have to take into consideration that i do um, three, three, three other client projects that I'm working on. So I have to really manage my time wisely and making sure I'd get the best quality. That's why my bookings are so limited. And I'm so sorry for everyone who always asks me, oh, can I get a booking in? But my bookings are full. As you can see on my notion board. Yeah, I'm, I'm flat out at the moment. I'm trying my hardest to get these projects out and work on other projects for you guys. And you can see on the little, on the left, a little, um, a little board there just to keep track of what I have to do. So basically, now that we have our designs done, we're just coloring, the, coloring it. And I feel like coloring took the most amount of time. Coloring took around an hour and 30 minutes, roughly. Um, because I wanted these panels to be easy to use once I send it out to the client in case he wants to change the colors himself. So I made sure to make a separate layer for each section and each color, which yeah, you can, do the math that's a lot of layers and a lot of work but yeah it all was worth it in the end So these are the final shoe designs. Um, let me know what you guys think. Obviously my favorite color is that black with the aged sole. I just think it looks super sick. Um, and yeah, it's so crazy how this took such a big proportion of time um, considering of what, it, what the final outcome was looking like. Originally I was gonna make real life mock-ups of these designs. But that's not reasonable because they have to cut out the material, send it off to the manufacturer, getting the sizing right. But yeah, you can see what I meant by each section has its own color. So I can just go in with a bucket and just color that section in. So it's very easy for the client to use. Overall, let me know what you guys thought of the project. And I can't wait to drop more videos about these really interesting projects. They're not much, they're not so much tutorials, but just stuff that I'm up to. Um, and I can't wait to drop more videos. So peace. See you when I see you. Take care.